Hey, everybody. Good to be with you today. Um, over the last few weeks, we've been talking about marriage and, uh, and how um, great it is to grow together in our marriage relationships. Man, marriage is a gift of God. And if you're in a marriage right now, you're fortunate. And um, I know some marriages are really doing really well and some are really struggling. And a lot are in somewhere in between those two things. And uh, we pray a lot for the marriages here at our church. And uh, I really want your marriage to succeed. And so that's why I've been doing this series in the month of August on um, uh, just characteristics of strong, healthy marriages. Again, like I said before, this is good for any relationship. Uh, to put these uh, these habits, these uh, things into practice, you will uh, grow in all of your relationships. So two weeks ago, we talked about communication being something that uh, will help you grow in your relationship with your spouse. Last week, we talked about sacrifice and how that's a difficult thing, but a great thing. Today, we're going to talk about another difficult thing, but a great thing, and that's forgiveness. Uh, because we are going to let each other down in our marriages. Okay, we're going to fail. And spousal hurt and disappointment can be can feel uh, greater than any hurt from anybody else because the relationship is so intimate, it's so vulnerable. So those wounds can feel so so difficult and so painful. Um, but the reality is all have sinned. Scripture says this. All have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. It says no one is righteous, not even one. There's no one righteous. We're all going to mess up. And so you're in a relationship with someone in your marriage with someone who will mess up, who will hurt you. And you are a person in a relationship who will mess up and will hurt your spouse. Whether it's a word said unkindly or um, uh, being inconsiderate with time um, or uh, just uh, not... Uh, Keeping up with your side of the bargain as far as cleaning the house or or communicating needs and all this kind of stuff, or, or communicating what you're doing, um, keeping a calendar, uh, you know, everybody aware of what's happening on the calendar. And there's so many ways to get hurt in a marriage. I know Jennifer and I, we've hurt each other a lot just because we're humans and we're in a relationship, a close, close personal relationship with each other. We hurt each other. And um, forgiveness, though, is so important for that. You know, Scripture says, do not let any root of bitterness grow up, which causes trouble and defiles many. So bitterness will just cause problems. And maybe you've been sitting on bitterness for a long time. And it, it will just defile you, it will defile your relationship. It will cause so much trouble. And the antidote to bitterness is forgiveness. Forgiveness. Now, forgiveness means taking a loss. Sometimes we'll say, well, I'll forgive the person if they apologize and make up for it. Well, that's not really forgiveness. It's like this. If, if you owe me $5 and then you pay me back $5, I got nothing to forgive you. I can't say, okay, you've paid me back. Now I'll forgive you for that $5. No, because you paid me back. This, the, the ledger's even. I only need to forgive when you can't pay me back or don't pay me back. Then I need to forgive. I need to forgive that $5 loan, which means I'm out $5. I had to take a loss in order to forgive. That's what forgiveness is. And it's not easy because um, we hate taking a loss. But scripture says, forgive as the Lord forgave you. You know, there's a story in the Bible. Jesus told this story about a man who owed a lot of money, let's say a million dollars, to a king. And the king brought him before him and said, hey, man, you got to pay that money. And the man said, I can't. I can't pay the million dollars. Please have mercy. And the king, for some reason, forgave the entire debt. All right, you don't owe me that money. I'll forgive it. I'll take the, excuse me, I'll take the loss. Well, uh, the man goes out and immediately finds someone who owes him, like I said before, five bucks. Okay, he owes him five bucks. Uh, and the man didn't have five dollars. So he says, oh, please have mercy. I can't pay you back your five dollars. But this first guy grabs him and says, no way. You're going to pay me back. Throws him in prison until he can pay him back. Well, what do you think the king did when he heard about this? He said, I can't. He pulled him back in again. He said, I can't believe it. I forgave you a million dollars. and You can't forgive your friend five dollars. And so then he threw that man in prison, which only makes sense. And so whenever we talk about forgiveness, we've got to talk about it in the uh, scope of Christ's forgiveness for us, because he has forgiven us so much 
so much. And out of the overflow of that forgiveness, we can forgive those that hurt us, especially our spouses. Now you say, well, I, I forgive him, but I, it still feels like it hurts. Yep, that's okay. Uh, forgiveness is a process. It doesn't just, it, it can happen sometimes. The feelings, you know, you make a decision to forgive and the feelings of forgiveness uh, maybe come a little bit later. Maybe they come right away. Maybe they take a while. But you're, you're constantly making the decision to forgive, to forgive that person, to be willing to take the loss, just like Christ has taken the loss for you. And when we live in a, in a relationship where there's forgiveness, oh my goodness, there is freedom and hope for growth, where two people are ready and willing to forgive each other, to make generous allowances for each other, to be willing to take a loss for each other. Uh, there's great hope. So don't hang on to bitterness at all. Don't hang on to it. Uh, ask Jesus to dig it out. Dig out that root. It'll only cause trouble. And pray for forgiveness. And uh, forgive as the Lord forgave you. So those three things, communication, um, uh, sacrifice, and forgiveness, in my mind are the three big, um, the big deals in building a healthy marriage. And we need Christ to help us with that. I mean, he is a perfect example of, of communication. He has uh, spoken to us through his word. The Holy Spirit, who knows the heart of God, reveals it to our hearts. He's always trying to, the creation is always trying to communicate uh, God's love for us. So he's a master communicator, and he will help you do that. He understands all about sacrifice. Oh my goodness. Greater love has no one than this, than he laid down his life for his friend, and Jesus laid down his life for us. He's the perfect one to understand and to help us with sacrifice. And of course, forgiveness. Uh, there is no other forgiveness like Christ's forgiveness. You know, we have received forgiveness through his blood, redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins, uh, uh, in accordance with God's incredible uh, pleasure and will. That's what he wants to do. He really wants to forgive us. And uh, so we can, we can receive that forgiveness, and then we can share that forgiveness with the people around us, especially our spouses. So again, guys, I'm proud of you. I'm looking forward to what God is going to do in our lives. I pray that these talks have been helpful for you and your marriage to, as a reminder to, uh, to keep digging in and to uh, uh, communicate and sacrifice and forgive for each other because we love each other. It's a hard hill to climb, but it's the best hill to climb. And so I'm so glad we are in, uh, in all this together. Hey, guys, uh, hope you have a great week. I love being your pastor, and we'll see you on Sunday.